There's a car company that's had the number one selling car in Japan for the last six years. It's a company that's won 17 International Car of the Year awards. In Japan, it outsold Nissan last year and outsold Honda two out of the last three years. And it might not be the brand you expect. It's Suzuki. Hi, I'm Laura Burstein. It's my job to test and review cars and to provide consumers with shopping and buying advice. I've worked for some of the best known automotive media outlets in the country. Suzuki might not be the first name that comes to mind when you think about cars. Here in the US, many people know Suzuki as a maker of some of the most powerful motorcycles. But you might not know that Suzuki also produces a complete lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs, including the SX4 Crossover, the SX4 Sportback, the SX4 Sedan, the Equator, and the Grand Vitara. Now, Suzuki is unveiling a new flagship sedan. Time.com called it, quote, one of the most exciting cars of 2010, the all-new Suzuki Kazashi. Well, the Kazashi is the legacy of uh, our former chairman of U.S. operations, Mr. Hirotaka Ono. Ono-san's idea was to marry the best of the European characteristics of a sports sedan, that is the handling feel, the design aesthetic, and the premium craftsmanship that is in most European sports sedans. With Japanese technology and engineering and uh, know-how, marry those together, kind of the emotional and the rational take some of the best elements of, of the European sedans and the Japanese sedans and bring them together at a price point that is reachable for all people. Suzuki ups the ante with European-inspired styling, spirited performance, and the latest in comfort and safety features. And it starts at less than $19,000. When you think of Suzuki, the primary drivers of our brand are high-performance motorcycles, incredibly durable, high-output outboard marine engines, and very fun, practical, compact cars. Suzuki also does business in 196 countries, making it one of the most recognized brands in the world. If you add to that our history in America of offering a lot of value for the money, what you end up with is the Kizashi. So if you take that formula for Kizashi and the vision behind Kizashi, we began playing with it with concept vehicles. We first had a long, low concept we showed at the Frankfurt Motor Show in Germany. We followed that on with sort of a sport activity concept that we showed in Tokyo. But finally, we got to what was known as the Concept Kazashi 3, our third concept exploring this vehicle, which we showed at the New York Auto Show just a couple of years ago. And in this vehicle, we had a vehicle with strong shoulders, a low, wide, secure stance, and the promise of both power and craftsmanship all in one vehicle, and that is the concept that we've now translated into the all-wheel drive production vehicle. Well, when the Kazashi was being developed, some of the benchmarks that we were using was the Audi A4, Acura TSX, and Alfa Romeo. As uh, part of those cars, we, we felt were most dynamic and exciting uh, behind the development of the Kazashi. We felt that if we could develop a vehicle that had the same characteristics in terms of driving, handling, and sophistication of those cars, but at a price, a fraction of what those are in the market for, we could really bring something compelling to the U.S. market. And that's the basic idea behind it. And uh, Mr. Ono's vision was uh, so compelling that Suzuki actually built a brand new factory in Japan uh, to build the Kazashi. The Kazashi was brought, brought forth through Kumashiro-san's uh, efforts. He is our chief engineer, and uh, he has a lot of motorcycle engineering blood in him. And he brought a lot of his passion and excitement for motorcycles onto the automotive side. So it's really designed to be a world-class performer, um, not just uh, an A to B commuter car, but it can really do so much more than your average car can do in that price class. Loosely translated, Kazashi means something great is coming. Or in the case of Kazashi, we'd like to say something great is now here. As you can see, Suzuki put a lot of time and effort into creating the Kazashi. It's a car a billion dollars and many years in the making. So now that we know what the car looks like, let's see what it can do. The Suzuki Kazashi takes on the Audi A4, as well as a motorized sofa. The Kazashi beats the A4 in braking, cornering, and quietness tests. As for the sofa, it didn't make it past the braking test. 
the Suzuki Kazashi. It outperforms an Audi as well as a motorized sofa. Learn more at kazashikicks.com. It's quieter than a Mercedes C300. It's safer than a Volvo S40. It can out-corner and out-brake an Audi A4. And with available all-wheel drive, it can handle almost anything nature throws at it. The Kazashi Midsize Sports Sedan from Suzuki. As you might remember, Suzuki doesn't just make cars. They make one of the fastest motorcycles in the world. They pioneered four-wheel ATVs and make some of the most durable and reliable marine engines. So a passion for adventure is in Suzuki's DNA, which is why Suzuki designers wanted the Kazashi styling to be adventurous as well. But styling isn't just about the outside. As you'll see, the designers also wanted to make a bold impression on the inside. Obviously, styling is important for any car. And when you have a car with a story as special as Kazashi, you want to have a design that's really going to catch people's attention, make them stop, maybe catch their breath. And we think we've achieved that with Kazashi. We have very complex body structures, very flowing, athletic design, always designed to look like an athlete in motion. This is a car that's sitting still, looks like it's already underway. Because Suzuki intended the Kazashi to be a driver's car, Suzuki designers penned an aggressive wedge shape more customarily found on high-performance European sports sedans. Suzuki's designer sculpted a strong shoulder that runs the length of the Kazashi side in a desire to communicate strength, solidity, and safety. The Kazashi's front grille and bumper is intended to create an aggressive look, while flared wheel arches and available 18-inch wheels give it a wide, athletic stance. One thing our designers wanted to do was make sure the car reflected in its design the athletic ability of the vehicle on the road. And what they did was they decided to shed some weight and shed some of the excess bulk of most mid-sized cars. They made the proportions trim, what they called fit, not fat. And they made the overhangs a little shorter, a little trimmer. At the same time, we kept the interior of the vehicle very roomy, and roomier than some cars like a Mercedes C-Class or an Audi A4. But at the same time, give the vehicle a sense of um, agility so that the customer would have a great deal of ease parking the car or slicing through traffic. The styling of a car does often begin at the front, but it's true of the Kazashi as well. We have a very aggressive grill uh, and very pronounced headlights that are almost uh, like eyes. And it really gives the car an attitude. And again, the lines that are begun with that grill carry through into the hood and actually don't complete until you get to the end of the car uh, at the trunk. Of course, when you have an exterior like this and a story as strong as ours to tell, you want to make sure people aren't disappointed when they get inside the car. And the Kazashi story definitely doesn't end when you open the door and settle inside. Well, when you open the door to a Kazashi, it will really wow you because that's how we really, I think, delivered on that sense of premium sports sedan down to the mass market price point. You'll notice that we didn't cut any corners. Suzuki incorporated extensive use of soft touch materials throughout the interior, including the headliner and the A-pillars, with flock lining in both the glove box and the console storage bin. You do touch the switch gear and you uh, pull on the levers. It feels very silky, very smooth, very precise. And the overall atmosphere and design that envelops you in the Kazashi is very upscale. And we're not using traditional gimmicks of wood and leather. Uh, this is a very different type of interior. We think it, it communicates that sense of premiumness that uh, a discerning buyer will definitely appreciate. It's clearly a driver's car, very purposeful, yet very elegant in its design. Well, part of that premium interior feel is ambient lighting, too. And it's not just an overhead console, but it's also in the footwells. It's in the dash. You'll see a nice glow at night when you're driving that car on a dark road. And you'll feel very secure knowing that uh, you have all your buttons on your steering wheel and switch gear backlit so you never have to take your eyes off the road for more than a millisecond to activate those features that you want. The attention to detail our designers paid on the interior is profound. When you look at the seats, for example, take a look at the double French seam stitching on those leather seats. They're really amazing. And this is something you don't find in a car in this price class. Or the genuine leather door straps. When you pull that handle and shut that door closed like a bank vault door, 
but it feels great in your hand because it's got real leather. That's what really sets the car apart. From the grill to the tailpipes, Kazashi designers aim to make a great looking car both inside and out. But it's not all about appearances. Next, we'll take a closer look at Kazashi's comfort and convenience features. The Suzuki Kazashi can outhandle a Mercedes C300 and is safer than a Volvo S40. Suzuki, the power of engineering. Get fantastic savings at your main Suzuki dealers, Paul Blue in Augusta and Norman David in Westbrook and Window. Buy a 2011 Equator Extra Cab 4x2 for only $16,995 or $224 a month. Or the Equator Extra Cab Sport 4-wheel drive for only $23,999 or $334 a month. Or a 2011 Kizashi S front-wheel drive model for only $18,995, $259 a month. Or all-wheel drive for only $21,395 or $289 a month. See your main Suzuki dealer today. The Suzuki philosophy is, there's no point in building a car that's fun to drive if you don't make it comfortable. That's why they gave the Kazashi some high-end features often found in more expensive cars. From standard sports seats to an available 10-speaker, 425-watt premium sound system, Suzuki's goal was to make the Kazashi interior a sporty yet elegant environment that's enjoyable, even when you're stuck in traffic. Well, obviously, once you've set the expectation with this beautiful exterior and this very inviting interior, you've got to back it up with a certain amount of comfort and amenities, and Kazashi really over-delivers in this area. In raw comfort terms, it's both a very uh, roomy interior, ample room for five, and also a very comfortable interior. The front seats are sport seats, standard on all models, with uh, special foam that's designed to reduce fatigue and rear seat passengers are treated to things like rear seat air vents for hot and cold air, a rear seat armrest that includes integrated cup holders, uh, and a lot of the basic comfort features you'd expect throughout a car. Well, the Kazashi has more than just a beautiful interior. In fact, it has more room and more safety features than you'd find in a Mercedes-Benz C-Class sedan or an Audi A4. From the front of the vehicle, then, there's a lot of technological features to aid in that comfort. Kazashi offers optional steering wheel mounted controls for cruise control as well as the audio system. Available rain sensing wipers allow the driver to keep his or her hands on the steering wheel. Another great thing about Kazashi is the amazing sound system offered by Rockford Fosgate. Now, this system has 10 speakers, including a large subwoofer in the rear deck, and it offers 425 watts of sound. It is amazing, and our partners at Rockford came in early in the development to make sure that it was sound engineered perfectly for this car. Another great feature that Kazashi has is uh, dual Bluetooth systems for both your phone and your music player. So if you have an iPod or an MP3 player that has a Bluetooth capability, you don't have to even plug it into the audio system. You can play it wirelessly throughout the system. That's on a GTS and SLS Kazashis. Every Kazashi comes with a standard USB port, so you can play your favorite music from your personal music player, or you can even recharge it if you'd like. Standard dual-zone automatic climate control allows the driver and front passenger to set individual temperatures. Standard push-button ignition and keyless entry, which Suzuki calls the Smart Pass system, makes entering and starting the Kazashi easy. You can leave the key fob in your pocket or purse and never have to take it out. When you're approaching the car, you simply click and go. Kazashi offers a 10-way power driver's seat, as well as a 4-way power passenger seat. Three preset driver's seat memory settings allow you to program individual seating positions for up to three different drivers. And the rear seats not only fold, but are split folding, so you can fold down either 40% of the seat or 60% of the seat. Or if you just happen to have a long pair of skis or something, you can leave the seats in place and there's a pass-through. Available built-in navigation with a large 6.1-inch touchscreen uses state-of-the-art software. Kazashi uses the same navigation system supplier as Lamborghini. When we talk about NVH in the car business, what we're talking about